In northeast Nigeria, more than 5 million people face the risk of famine. There isn't enough food to go round. Many have returned to the places they fled at the height of the Boko Haram insurgency. Some villages are safe, some are not, but everyone lacks food. People have to wait a long time to receive their food aid. Some faint in the heat. Open Doors, an international Christian NGO, has provided aid to 15,000 families in need, some 75,000 people. This is one place where it's just done a food distribution. Oh my God, oh my God. We have been on hunger, so difficult. You know, people were somehow also pushed out of their farms for fear of being attacked on the farm. So these materials that are brought will ease you know, uh, the problems that people are facing. This thing is going to help me a lot. I will not buy food at least for three months now. Is it not okay for me to tell God thank you? I'm grateful. I am grateful. Each family receives 100 kilograms of maize, 50 kilograms of beans and some cash, enough to survive two or three months. This buys them some time to find work or other ways of looking after themselves. One of the people receiving food aid is Rhoda, who has a family of seven. One fateful day we went to school and when we came back we met our house bond with our father inside. Life has not been easy for us because things are very, very difficult now. Rhoda said she didn't receive food aid through official channels. Many other Christians say the same. Some help organizations used to bring help to people, but they just share it between themselves. That is our Muslim brothers. Christian brothers doesn't used to get it. But thank God for open doors for this gift. In May, local officials were jailed for stealing food aid intended for Boko Haram victims. Apart from corruption, social networks in the Northeast can mean Christians are marginalized. We are seeing social boycotts simply because when relief materials is brought. Christians are hardly uh, involved, you know, in benefiting from the relief materials. So generally, Christians, you know, don't get relief materials from whether NGOs or from the governing authorities. We have been dancing, climbing, and even now, if you go home, we are going to go and appreciate. We go and cook this mess and beans and praise the Lord and appreciate for what God has done for us.